Now the first step is to restart the computer. Simply restart the computer once and then you can check. Still not working. Try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. Make our active in the game. Select properties in the launch option. You can type in dash D3D11 over here. Launch the game and then check. If that does not work, type in dash DX11. Launch the game and then check. Still not working. Type in dash DX12. Launch the game and then check. Still not working. You can remove this. Follow the next step. Now the next step is to install easy anti cheat. Now for this, you can go to Steam. Make our active in the game. Manage browse local files. Now open easy anti-cheat folder. Here you can see in the easy anti-cheat setup. Make a right click, run as administrator, click on yes to allow. And then you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. Uh, you can make a right click and then show more option over here. And then send to, uh, sorry, create shortcut over here. And then, uh, sorry, mm, let me delete this. Make a right click on the easy anti cheat and then show more option. Send to create and desktop create shortcut. Now go to desktop. Here you can see the easy anti cheat shortcut. Make a right click, go to properties. And here you can see target option. At the end of tar target, you can see the quotation over here. Now over here, you have to type in this install. Copy this. This is provided in the video description. After quotation, there is one space and then you can type in install space prod hyphen dash fn. So after uh, quotation, there is one space, then install space prod hyphen fn. Now you can hit apply, click on OK, and then make a right click on easy anti cheat and then run as administrator over here. Click on yes to allow. And now you can relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. Now for this, you can make a right click on the game, manage browse local files. And then you can make a double click, launch the game from here and then check. If that does not work, you can even make a double click on this and then check. Still not working. Make a right click, go to properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box where it says run this program as an administrator. Put a check over here, hit apply, click on OK. Launch the game and then check if that does not work. Go to properties in this time. You can put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. If that does not work, you can even try Windows 7, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. You can even try disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Now, when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, you can uncheck these boxes, hit apply, click on OK. And then you can use this exe file. Make a right click and then click on run as administrator and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, in that case, open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, Windows security, virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Add an allowed app, browser apps. Now go to the game installation folder and then select the game exe file. So in my case, the game is installed over here. This is the location. Go to the game installation folder. Select the game exe file. Click on open. Again, browser apps. You can select this exe file over here. Then click on open. Again, add an allowed app, browser apps. Open easy anti cheat. You can select this exe file. Click on open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel and then click on system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings, allow another app. Click on browse. Again, go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. Select this exe file and then click on open. Click on add. Once added, in my case, it is already added. Allow another app browse, select select this exe file, click on open and then click on add. Again, in my case, it is already added. Again, browse and then open easy anti cheat. Select this exe file, click on open, click on add. Once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game. If you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow all these exe files. To your antivirus program or the complete game folder to the exclusion list. Next step is to verify the game files. Now for this you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab, click on verify integrative game files. Once the verification is done, launch the game. Next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have Nvidia card, go to Nvidia website, select your graphic card over here, your operating system and then click on fine. 
on this page you will see the latest GE Force game ready driver whichever is the latest GE Force game ready driver click on view and then click on download and once the download is complete you can run this exe file when you run this exe file click on yes to allow click on ok and then click on agree and continue select custom option over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check over here and then click on next and once that is done restart your computer and then you can check similarly if you have amd card you can go to amd website make sure that you select your graphic card your operating system over here so i don't have amd graphics this is just an example click on submit select your operating system whichever is the latest graphic card driver you can download it install it restart your computer and then launch thing in next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder open the game folder select the game exe file over here and then click on add once the game is added now find the game in the list Yeah, once you find the game click on the game select high performance you will see your graphic card over here now launch the game desktop users make sure that you connect your hdmi cable or display cable to the dedicated graphic card slot not the motherboard slot next is to install visual c++ file for this you can open this link in a browser the link is provided in the video description on this it will take you to microsoft website on this website scroll down here you can see x86 and x64 file you have to download both x86 and x64 so click on this and then run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow download this x64 file as well again if you see repair click on repair if you see the install button hit install and let the installation complete once installed now restart your computer after the system restarting and check still not working next step is to Try power saver mode now for this type in control panel in windows search box click on control panel go to hardware and sound go to power options in my case i have only balanced but if you see power saver option like this you can select power saver over here and then relaunch the game and then check you can even go for balanced or high performance but first of all try power saver next step is to enable or disable hardware accelerated gpu scheduling now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings now click on advanced graphics settings if hardware accelerated gpu scheduling if this is off turn it on and then relaunch the game and then check now if this is already on you can turn it off relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to disable integrated graphic card make a right click on the start menu go to device manager if your computer has a dual graphic card like this expand display adapter here you can see integrated graphic card in my case is intel so make a right click and then click on disable device and then relaunch the game and then check if now if you face any problem or once you're done playing the game come back and then enable the device once again next step is to roll back graphics card driver if the latest geforce game ready driver is not working so after you select your graphic card your operating system on this page scroll down and click on view more versions you can maybe you can install the older graphic card driver uh, view it download it and then when you go for installation put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation click on next and then restart your computer similarly amd card users go to uh, once you select your graphic card click on previous version and then you can click on select your operating system maybe you can try to install this one or maybe this one older graphic card driver download it install it restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to uh, delete direct x shader cache now for this you can type in disk cleanup in windows search box click on disk cleanup over here and over here make sure if this is unchecked we say direct x shader cache put a check over here put a check on everything over here and then click on ok click on delete file these are temporary files once done restart your computer and then check install direct x now for this you can open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website click on download over here and then run this exe file click on yes to allow and then accept next uncheck install bing bar click on next and let the installation complete once installed click on finish and then restart your computer and then check still not working try debug mode now for this you can go to nvidia control panel so make a right click on the desktop show more option nvidia control panel and then you can go to help and then put a check on debug mode over here put a check and then relaunch the game you can even if that is restore nvidia control panel settings now for this you can go to manage 3d settings in nvidia control panel go to global settings 
restore yes at the bottom right you will see apply option hit apply and then you can relaunch the game and then check still not working uh, the next step is to lower down monitor refresh rate so suppose your monitor refresh rate is 240 hertz you can try 120 or 60 hertz and then check next step is to increase the virtual memory to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings over here and then under advanced click on settings the first setting and then click on advanced tab and then click on change over here you have to uncheck the box and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed make sure that you select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size and we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total ram for maximum is 3 multiplied total ram so you can check total ram in windows settings go to system and then go to about option and over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabytes so you have to calculate as per your ram and if you face any problem we can always revert back to the settings so do not worry about it so for in my case it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024 that is total total ram in megabyte for initial size it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5 that is 24576 for maximum size it's total RAM that is 16 multiplied 1024 in my case 16 384 me megabyte then 3 times multiplied 3 that is for maximum size it's 49152 in my case and then you have to click on set set is important make sure that you hit set and then click on ok and then ok ok now relaunch the game and then check if that does not work then type in view advanced system settings again and then click on view advanced system settings go to settings over here click on change uh, advanced tab and then click on change and then select system manage size this time and then click on set set is important click on ok click on ok over here hit apply click on ok ok you will see restart option restart your computer and then check still not working we will revert to default so you can type in view advanced system settings once again settings advance change and put a check on this box and then hit apply click on ok follow the next step now still not working the next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using like if you have external devices like hotas wheel pedals if uh, you have any disconnect external keyboard and mouse which you are not using like if you have key chrome keyboard razor hensman keyboard you can disconnect it launch the game razor tartarus disconnect it disconnect any uh, extra uh, like USB adapter or dongle connected disconnected disconnect extra controller connected to the computer disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor if you have any third party application or services running you can close it disable steam overlay make a right on the game select properties turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game turn it off and then relaunch the game and then check if it is already off turn it on and then check close other overlay application like if you have discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running you can go to nvidia app settings and then you can turn off this nvidia overlay and close nvidia app and then check do not overclock set it to default close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner revert inner or any kind of overclocking application running close it to perform clean boot type in system configuration in windows search box click on system configuration go to the services tab Put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services. Make sure that you put a check over here first and then click on disable all. Hit apply. Click on OK. You will see a restart option. Restart your computer and then check. If you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. Now for this, you can open Windows settings, go to Windows update or update and security. Click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer. After the system restart, you can check still not working if you're able to launch you can skip this step if you're not able to launch the game but if you're able to launch the game try window mode lower down uh, video settings now for this you can launch the game if you're able to launch the game now once you launch the game uh, you can go to options and then go to graphics over here you can try you can select window mode lower down resolution if this is set to 4k you can try 1920 into 1080p you can even lower down more and then you can uh, lock the fps at 60 or maybe 30 so i will set it to 60 and graphics quality if this is set to very high you can set it to high you can even go for normal or you can even go for low quality apply the settings and then you can check the performance 
Now the next step is to update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number and then update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the BIOS. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can uninstall the game. After you uninstall the game, install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive, E drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.